G'day, welcome back to the channel. I uh, took a little time off, maybe three weeks was it? Three or four weeks? Doesn't really matter. It is irrelevant. So today we're gonna to talk about how to make your footage look really nice with a simple selection in the settings. This is really good if you're starting out as a colorist or maybe you're a DOP and you um, don't know how to grade at all. So it's basically like using a LUT but in a better way so we have two clips here this is a black magic 4k clip raw i think it's raw let's have a look no it's actually not raw so it's apple pro res so this is actually quite good this actually helps us more than it being raw and then we have this other clip so this is the original whoop let's turn that crappy sound off this is the original black magic pocket so i bought this camera obviously a while ago it actually looks quite nice. Um, when I started shooting it, I was really tired, <laughs> obviously. When I started shooting it the other day, I was like, oh, I remember that I actually really like this camera. It has a really nice filmy look to it, which the Pocket 4K, even though it looks really good, hasn't got that nice soft film look to it, except for like, you know, the original has that awful, awful noise pattern, which you can't remove. It's like these uh, terrible, Vertical lines going down. Oh, it's it's just, it's the worst camera in low light. But anyway, we're not going to talk about that. Let's talk about how to make it look good. Alrighty. So normally, what I would do, I would just put on a color space transform and then find my input space. So obviously, it is Blackmagic 4K. They don't even have the five gen yet, so we just find the four. So here, Blackmagic Design Pocket 4K Film Gen. And then our input gamma, obviously be the same one, Blackmagic Design 4K. And that would give us a nice starting point already. So, I mean, that's great. But let's say you have 100 clips and you don't have to go along and change every single clip to get that nice starting point. And with this one here, it's the same kind of thing. So instead of doing that, you could actually get DaVinci Resolve to work it all out for you. But all you'd have to do is we'll reset this so just right click reset node grade and to get davinci resolve to figure out what color space to put your footage in you come down to project settings right down the bottom here right hand side and then you go down to color management under color science you want to choose davinci yrgb color manage so basically that just tells resolve hey I want you to do it because I'm way too lazy to do it myself and you're so intelligent and we just love you so much. So please do this for me. And then under Resolve Color Management Preset, you want to be in DaVinci Wide Gamut and that will give you well, obviously a widest gamut. So if we did this one here, we're working in a smaller range. We want to be in the widest range possible when we grade and this will help us in any future clips we have. And then, don't worry about this. So this is the color space that's gonna work into. Meaning we're gonna be working in a Rec 709, Gamma 2.4 space. So then you go down and save. And as you can see, we already have this nice stunning area. And the same with this here. Now this one here looks a little red because I didn't balance it properly. But as you can see, if we were to take this off, and again, go back up here. Look how flat our image looks. But a simple little selection here. Wide gamut. Again, DaVinci YRGB Color Manage. Resolve Management Preset DaVinci Wide Gamut. Click. Boom. We already have a really nice starting point. As you can see how noisy it is. Because I was like, it was slightly dark. <laughs> it's already breaking apart. Oh, black magic pocket. You were good for your time. Anyway, then what you would do is just start grading this footage. Simple as that. And we've made only a few adjustments. Actually, let's put some more color back in. We want to make like a few adjustments and look how good our footage already looks. It's really simple, really easy, and it's a really good way just to get into color grading. It's also a really good starting point 
when you're color grading your project. So anyway, that's something I use all the time now. And I would suggest you using the same. You don't have to use the same. If you want to use the flattest possible footage, then you wouldn't do that. Now, if you're using footage from a camera that Resolve doesn't pick up, and what I mean by pick up is it doesn't understand the color space you're working in, what you would do is you'd come down to your media and I'll show you what I mean. So in this instance, Resolve knows that this is black magic footage because Resolve's pretty smart. But let's say that this is some sort of Nikon footage or something like that, so um, some camera that is quite old and Resolve doesn't pick it up. All you would do is you would right click that and you'd go to input color space and then you would select what color space your camera is working in then that way Resolve would know what color space you're working in, figure it out for you, and then you'd have a nice starting point like this footage over here. So that's all you got to do. So just in case your footage comes out and it's completely flat still, just go Media, click on that footage you want to change, right click, go to Input, Color Space, find the camera you're working with or the color space you're working with, select that, and the Resolve will do all the rest for you. So something that's really handy to know and something, like I said, I use all the time. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave any comment below, anything else you want to see. I am working on some grading videos. Sorry, I have been a bit distracted. I've been um, a bit lazy <laughs> lately, I'm not going to lie. But I am trying to get back on and do some more work. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. And I've been Drew, and I'll see you next time.